Hi, my name is Jeff Hutchings, and this is my custom BandLab Looper hack. Officially, you can't add your own custom loops to the looper in BandLab, but with my hack, you can turn one of the loopers in BandLab into your own custom looper. In BandLab, add a looper track. At the top of the screen, tap on any tab and tap on a looper pack that you want to turn into your own ultimate looper pack to install it. Make a note of the BPM and the key of the looper pack as you will need to match these in your new samples. Tap on the looper pack. Tap on set tempo and key in the pop-up menu. As this is a hack, there are a few things worth noting here. Firstly, you can't change the name of the looper pack and you can't change the names of the loop samples. So you're gonna to need to swap out the loop samples. So choose a loop pack that you won't want to use in any other song. Now completely close BandLab by clicking on the exit icon at the top left of the screen. Tap discard on the pop-up menu and tap on your device's back button to close the app. Next, you need to create your samples. For this, I would suggest using a door. Uh, you could use Cakewalk by BandLab. The samples themselves are going to need to be the same tempo as the samples in the loop pack. They're going to need to be the same key as the samples in the loop pack. They're also going to need to be recorded at 48 kilohertz and be 16 bit. They can be four beats long, eight beats long or 16 beats long. And when you've recorded them, I suggest then installing them into a folder on your device. Open the file app on your device. Tap on internal storage. Tap on the folder where you saved your custom loop samples. Here I put them in the music folder. Press on one of your custom loop samples until a tick box appears to the right of the file name. Now tap on the tick box for all of your custom loop samples. At the bottom right of the screen, tap on Move. Then at the bottom of the screen, tap on Other Location. And tap on Internal Storage. A quick warning about this next bit. Moving, deleting or changing files in the Android folder other than the ones I specifically mention in this video could damage or even stop your Android device from working. So be careful what you do inside this folder and if you're not confident, stop now. Tap on the Android folder. Tap on the data folder. Scroll through the list of folders and tap on the com.banlab.banlab folder. Tap on the files folder. Then scroll through the list of folders and tap on the loop packs folder. Scroll through the list of folders and tap on the folder with the same name as the loop pack you want to change. At the bottom of the screen, tap on Move. Your custom samples have now been added to the loop pack folder. You won't be able to tell which looper sample is for which pad just by looking at them, so you might want to tap on each loop sample to hear the loop sample. Press on a looper sample until the tick box appears. At the bottom of the screen, tap on the three dots. Then tap on rename from the pop-up menu. Press on the file name, then tap on copy on the pop-up menu. Then tap at the beginning of the file name and add the number zero. And tap OK. Next, press your finger on a custom sample you just added until the tick box appears. 
tap on the three dots at the bottom right of the screen, and tap on Rename from the pop-up menu. Press on the file name, then tap on Paste on the pop-up menu. And tap OK. You have now renamed the custom sample with the looper sample name, and these two files will now be switched on your device. Continue to do this with all your custom samples. To use this looper pack, add a looper track to your song project. Then tap on the cloud icon at the top left of the screen to open your sound library. And tap on the looper pack you customised. Then tap on set tempo and key from the pop-up menu. The pads should now play the new custom sounds. This is a hack, so it may not work on future versions of BandLab, if BandLab decide to block this hack from working on future versions. The actual hack itself will only exist on the phone or tablet that you create the hack on, so the customised looper will only exist on that phone or tablet. And if you delete that custom looper from your phone or tablet, then you will lose the samples that you have added to that folder. If you create new samples to use in a custom looper on your phone, you will need to convert those samples from M4A to 48 kilohertz, 16 bit audio files. And although this hack does sound quite complicated, it does work. Here I've used a four beat drum beat and a 16 bit vocal effect that I've customized into the Drill Volume 1 Looper Pack. And here is what it sounds like. If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.